Hello everybody. For those who do not know me, my name is Ana Lourdes Enriquez and I'm a junior in biomedical engineering and I'm a lecturer for the next Uber position of academic coordinator. So let me tell you a little bit of myself. Um, the first thing I'd like to share with you is that SHIP has really helped me a lot and it helped mostly in my academic development. When I just transferred to Pima, all I could see were changes around me. I had changes in classroom, change in the relationship with the professor, with the student, even a big difference in how to walk from one building to another. You've all seen it. Well, at that point, I felt very lost. I didn't have really someone to talk to where I could come up with all these questions about being a transfer student. For that reason, my non-cumulative GPA dropped to a 2.7. At that point, I decided that I should join SHIP to see what it really was. I started getting more involved. I was a workshop leader at La Familia, starting working with the Comedio El Wildlife, and I just felt like I, I was getting involved in this Familia, and I loved it. After that semester, my GPA went up back up to a 3.45, so that's the difference. <laughs> SHIP really helped me to regain my confidence and also to rediscover my full potential as a student. During the meetings, I was always very inspired by Mara's excitement and all of the, the projects that she was working on. I really think that the research tour were a magnificent experience to have networking with professors as long as knowing what is going on at the university. I will, if you select me as your academic coordinator, I will not let this project be forgotten. However, I do have some other programs I would like to implement. The first one will be to bring mentorship to the university, work along with Christian. And what I mean by this is that we can have sophomores and freshmen to talk to uh, junior and seniors to ask them questions about anything really. Where's the place where I better I can find the books? Who should I talk to if I have this problem? Like how many days in anticipation I have to do if I want to apply for this position or an internship? Anything. I know if I would have had this program before, I would have avoided many embarrassing moments for me. <laughs> but anyways, all of this is working so we can make um, the members feel more just more in our group, like they were mentioned previously, it's very hard when someone comes and see like this united group, you feel very intimidated, but if we have the upperclassmen working with the lower classmen, I think it will be a very good idea that they can start merging. The second program that I have is that I would like to start an exams library. Um, I will need your help in this, so you can start bringing all your tests that your professor allows you to keep, so we can have a stack of all the exams. I would like to focus at the beginning on the engineering core programs like calculus, gen camps, physics, and some other engineering courses like statics or dynamics. And last but not least, I would like to get more focus into students that are in other colleges because SHIPS invites all majors. But sometimes during the meetings, I believe that we're very in an engineering environment. So next year, if you select me, I would like to get to know each one of you and focus a like a little bit more on the other, not a little bit more, but also on the other members that are not from the College of Engineering. So I get to stumble upon a research opportunity or an internship from that college, I get the president of the meeting so they can also have that opportunity and um, well, they can see how great SHIP is. And um, I'd just like to say that if you select me, I can promise you I'll work as I, as I can and to keep shipping as awesome as it is and work with my fellow eBoard members to work our way to improvement.